Hi and welcome to the extended coffee break tutorial. Here I have a composition and we've got some fractal noise and it's caching immediately because there's no change and we can play that in real time, no worries. So let's fix that. What we do is we apply extended coffee break to this and immediately we can see that this comp got a lot heavier and it is slowly rendering, chugging away. The great thing is that extended coffee break doesn't have any visual impact on your output it's just going to make the render take a lot longer so this is the cpu load here and uh, zero is going to be not much load at all you can see that and uh, you can set this quite high if you want a longer coffee break you can see it's chugging away very slowly so very simple to use uh, if you're fortunate enough to have the enterprise edition this is where the real fun starts because instead of just using the cpu we can also leverage the gpu and the benefit of that is, is if you're using the GPU, that means the user interface is going to get really chuggy and locked up, and that's going to be a really good excuse for you to not be able to do anything while your computer's rendering. So what I'll do is let's max this out and hit go. Then I'll go to the activity monitor and view the GPU history, and we can see that that's going to pretty much skyrocket, and uh, that's going to slow you right down. I'll change that back to zero and we go to the memory tab here and we can increase After Effects memory usage. So for example, let's go back to Activity Monitor. We're looking at the memory tab here and I'll just purge everything so that we can get a baseline reading. All right, we're down to 430 megabytes. So let's say I want to use an extra five gigs. And now if we hit render on that, go to Activity Monitor and immediately After Effects is going to start using huge amounts of memory very ideal if you're trying to slow things down. The problem being though is that After Effects is going to purge that when it runs out of memory. So if we go edit purge all memory we can see that uh, the memory usage is going to return to normal back to 400 megabytes. The beauty of this is we can cause a memory leak and then that memory is pretty much going to be going down a black hole. We're not going to get it back. So now we're at 4.7 gigs and if we go edit purge all memory we're not going to get that back. So even after purging, the memory's gone. We're not going to get it back. Um, and that's ideal for us, so we can take a break. That's all the steps you need to have a really long coffee break. While you're enjoying your extended coffee break, make sure you check out PluginEverything.com. We've got heaps of other products. Some of our products actually do something. And we've also got some free ones as well.